this is Joe with Steel Blade Woodworks, and we're going to continue on now with the tabletop. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some Loctite on uh, all these. I haven't done it yet, and as well as the screws that are the bolts that are going to go in here. probably something good to go ahead and get which is a magnetic parts holder hold all those little bolts and pieces in there so they don't get lost and all you're gonna do is just uh, come around here and set all these in and what, what it's getting ready for is uh, for your basically your tabletop to come in so table frame assembly and uh, it's going to take two extrusion pieces that are 63 inches in length and five cross member extrusions that are 49 and a quarter. Step 1.2.1 frame extrusion, frame extrusion installation which are your 160 millimeter 63 inch uh, pieces of extrusion. What you have to do here is basically you're going to slide this end and the other one on that side. I'm going to leave everything a little loose for right now once we get it all in place and then check uh, for squareness we'll start tightening it down. The next section calls for, <clears throat> it's a double anchor. And if you can see that part number. And this is going to go for all the extrusion that goes from side to side. So this is the hardware. The instructions tell you exactly what to find in the kit. It'll tell you the exact part number of the bag. Go to there and that contains all the hardware for that next step. All your parts, your pieces of hardware, go ahead and count and make sure you have everything before you continue. 
this is the hardware that it's going to contain so basically you're going to have this sliding t-nut it's a double one and then you've got your cap screw and your fastener so you're going to put this and this will it'll be two of them one on each side of the cross member extrusion so basically the same concept how you have a round part and a flat part here this kind of half moon goes away from the cap from the cap screw in this fastener and then all you do is get these set up in the uh, in the cross member extrusion and we'll have to remove these and slide them all the way in and you'll have to remove those at the back and fish those in at the end <clears throat> so here's a little tip you can pick these up very reasonable all this is is a magnetic tool holder and you can go ahead and just put your bolts on there so you don't have to do it and you can go through and wipe your your medium grade uh, Loctite on there and have them ready um, just something I thought of and it'll help out and you can just take it right there where you're at once or once the uh, Loctite is put on and use that just go ahead and just get some Loctite on all these grab your ball nose, grab you a sliding T-nut, and just get it started. And that's it. Now that we've got all the uh, rolling T-nuts installed on both sides of the extrusion, then it's simply just come in. Hopefully this will work. get this face here square and straightened up 
work on that. And what I'll probably do is loosen these, let them drop down a little bit, get this first bar secured, and then we'll tighten up the rest. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, we got these pieces put on. Uh, I will tell you, I had to lower that down in order to get to these uh, bolts because with this put in place, you can't get in there. So I recommend that, but get you a set of Allen wrench metric. So, if you don't want to have to loosen this and lower it back down and then reposition it, the only way to get to that to tighten is with an L Allen. Uh, and this is a six millimeter ball nose. You need ball nose because you will not get to any of these without a ball nose tip. So I had to do that, uh, which is no big deal. I'll just raise this back up, reposition it and tighten it up. Anyhow, Back to this portion, um, we're, install we're installing now the extrusions that go from the side rail extrusions across and uh, I was just checking to make sure I'm square. In the instructions, this distance from this face to this face is 14 inches, 14 and 3 16 I highly suggest you go in there and you cut yourself scrap board here and it makes it a lot easier to tighten these up. So you just put these in there and with two clamps, whatever clamps you got, you'll hold the rails uh, identical to both sides.
on. Looks like the next step is going to be the linear rails. Um, and uh, we'll get the linear rails put on and just progress in this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lift that this portion back up off camera and um, just make sure you go around and make sure you tighten, make sure you didn't miss anything. Uh, and we'll go ahead and end this one right here and uh, we'll come back and get the rest of it. Thank you all for watching.